everybody, I want to wait a minute at 10.24 p.m. Same recording session as the previous two episodes. Going to continue progressing here. Uh, we do have that trap door somehow. I don't, I don't think that was in my inventory. That said, I think this is something I did last night off camera uh, while the video was processed, but I started kind of cleaning this out for the stairway, and I don't have anything on me. So, <laughs> back we go. But, um... Mm -mm. Got some plans, so I don't think there's smooth stone in here. There's nuts. Uh, there is some here, though, so we'll just kind of go about it in this manner. We'll take half of that, throw that down, 55 for that, and let's get some stone bricks. We got some up top, but for the time being, uh, we'll run with this. Now, while we were away in that video rendered, I got the stake out. Got that cooking up top uh, in the main area, and I cleaned out some other junk from the inventory. But let's, we'll just go ahead and convert all that. And now we need some stairs. Not too many stairs just yet. 16 ought to do it. So let's head back down there and we'll try to piece this part together. And again, I kind of did some of it off camera I figured we'd finish it off together so uh, blew this out this is the three wide on the wall kind of like right when you come down the staircase and so let's get rid of the hoe and that will actually work beautifully uh, the shears which again we did have which was nice <laughs> so we want it like that right I think so and then I was kind of thinking we could have it come down at the five spots, sort of on each side, here at the bottom. And then I was kind of thinking, how do we do this? Yeah, that's sort of cool. So we'll do the wrap around there. And what would we wrap that to, I think? Is how that would work? Which we... Oh, good lord. <laughs> I forgot that was there. Uh, we'll have to go get some smooth stone. Let's leave the dirt there and see. Now, how would we do that one? It would have to then be out there, which would be weird. So I think, okay, that'll probably become stone brick. That's what we'll do. Take care of this problem. Alright, so there's no hole under this one. And we will... Stone brick there, stone brick there. Go ahead and cover that up. Okay, and that means we can do the same on this side by placing that one. And then coming up, three, and the final piece. There we go. So that's pieced together decently for what it is. Uh, we're going to have some patching to do there, but not a big deal. Um, now we got to, I guess, level out the ceiling to roughly this height. This pick's about to go, but... Uh, you get the idea, so I think that'll kind of be our culmination point for this one. And I'll probably either time-lapse this or do it entirely off-camera. might do it off-camera. I don't know, it's not super exciting. But it will make the room look a lot bigger, a lot more spacious. And it might add some storage slots for us as well, so that's kind of the added bonus or benefit, if you will. But uh, we'll kind of run through here and sort of pick stuff out so I will be back and uh, we will see how things are going at that point in time all right so killed a little bit of time accomplished a few things uh, notably filling up my inventory went ahead and I just threw that together I kind of got tired of that like regular old doorway doorway so we kind of pieced that one together I'm up here because there were some holes that we made when we were cleaning that out notably that one <laughs> And the rest of the holes that we made had water uh, in them. So I'm sure you know where those came from. And we might have a bit of a mess down here. I'm not sure. Not going to take this out just yet because I don't know for sure what I want to do there. But you can see that side went pretty smooth. We got all that cobble out. Uh, okay, so we do have a hole there. That is from the water pillar directly above that. So <clears throat> that's pretty much the only gap right now. Let's go ahead and uh, just for the time being fill that in. If possible. There we go. <laughs> 
and it's messing me around having the pick in the, like the wrong location. So we'll get this out of here, get our torches, and just so we can see a little bit, we'll throw that up. And I shipped that away on this side. I guess we should do the same thing. So again, silk touch would just be so nice for that. Let's just go ahead and get the coal off of the wall there. We can kind of take care of all of this in, I guess, one hit, if you will. Okay, I was making sure I could pick it up. Seems like the other cool pocket was not too far away. So you see a lot of that. We'll be cheap and only partially <laughs> fill that in. So there's that. And we should be able to hit that. There we go. Smooth and nice, just the way we like it. And I guess we just as well go ahead and clear these out. Not sure we can pick it up, but we will try. Running very low on inventory space, which again, that's kind of how all of this comes to be, I suppose. So, right there. I'm okay with the double wall, right? That's what we have on this side. Yeah. Alright. I guess we could technically extend that. But then we'd have to reposition. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> That's the easiest thing to do. Now, right there is these are very important blocks because they have water above them. And I think this is okay to move. That means that should be too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you get the idea. You now know where I was talking about. And we're going to go ahead and try to do this easily as possible and the question what do we want to do with that <laughs> because it sort of has to be there and I'm not so sure that the best answer might not be just to replicate that what we have on the top you know what I'm saying kind of uh, go about it in that manner now do these go deep oh yeah so Let's just go ahead and uh, smooth this out together. <laughs> so these are all right there. That one does have water. Predicted that it might. And I think I got so tired of replacing the torches here. There's not a block where I thought there would be. Okay. <laughs> now we are back in business. There we go with that one. Really, how long does it take the water to despawn? Oh, that's from there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, come on, game. It's got to be better than that. So this here is going to be easier to clean out. No water behind it. So misplaced block. Costs us only because we have no slip touch. So there's that. Um, we could potentially mimic it. You know, put like the pillar in over there and then have a pillar here and frame out a doorway there, that would probably be the easier thing to do. Let's just go ahead and kind of piecemeal that together, if we can get over there. Oh, that was the wrong slot. Everything's going wrong. And if I could just... there we go. Oh, and of course it places incorrectly, and I'm sure my pick will break now. Okay, can't see Jack. <laughs> um, stairs are even more difficult to deal with when water is involved. Did that go? That went where I wanted it to. So now we just need to get some dirt. Ooh, ride the current while we wait. <laughs> and now I think if I cap this and break it, it should be self-contained. However, we'll put that... Uh, Good lord, man. I'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Alright, thank you, dirt. There we go there. There's that. Yeah, we'll break this. And that'll be okay, hopefully. Alright, so this in theory, let's go ahead and uh, place these there. I'm not sure that I really want this here, but I guess for the time being it'll kind of look cool and give us time to think about it. So that is one continuous stream now from the first floor. And I 
don't know. Where's the crafting table? There it is. New eye. This is that one I crafted on the outside. I think in the previous episode. Uh, what we will do is crank out. What smooth stone do we have? 24. We'll make a few stone bricks. And now we'll come over. We just need a few more stairs. So what do we need? Six. There we go. Alright, so just for good measure, I guess we'll we'll do this. So we've got that <laughs> and that and that one. And then that will mean it comes down there. So we'll place these three. And we can break it. However, I wonder if this should be the floor where we expand it and have that be, you know, more of a column or something. But for now, we've gotten that taken care of. And I don't see the water leak over here at all. So we're... Do I not have one? No, we don't. Okay, so that makes sense now. So we've gotten that taken care of. We'll retrieve this dirt, I guess because we can. Let's, uh... Get this smooth stone back in action here. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. <laughs> Grab all this. Uh, we should be able to get rid of that now. And that, and of course, we've lost our pick. Fantastic. Alright, so... Still not sure what we're going to do out there. I might see if we get a few comments on that before we get back to it. That said, man, this whole thing is supposed to become a storage room, right? So we should probably start messing with that at some point. Let's just hop back down here because it's quick. And let's think about this. Alright, so... We're going to come in there. That would be the wall. Let's just go to, well, where it's supposed to be the midpoint. There's the water, so two, three, four, six, eight, ten. So then that would be three, five, seven, nine, that's number ten there. And then three, five, seven, nine, and that torch is ten. Let's make sure that's the same. Three, five, seven, nine, it's ten, so it's technically... One more back on that side. Why is that even there, really? I mean, that doesn't connect to the top. That Was was that just me playing around with it? It may have been. I think that's actually what it was. Problem solved. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that was like our first little guinea pig of that thing, is what that amounted to, if I remember correctly. So what I'm wondering is now, how do we want to lay out, like, the storage? Do we want to do, like, library-style stuff, or what exactly? And that's what I'm not sure of. So... We need a pick. We need chests. Let's go ahead... And... Hmm... happen. Let me uh, go off camera and I'll kind of try to piece this together and we'll see where we're at, so stay tuned. And we are back and we're over here. Uh, somehow we are in the Hall of Wisdom with a creeper. It's unsettling, is it not? <laughs> and uh, How did I get here, you might ask? Well, it is a very long and drawn out story. And I'm not quite sure even I know, but... I came from down here, which is, of course, the under underground, the below the Hall of Wisdom. Uh, and that's what really started this whole we need wool thing, so we can make carpet. Now, we've got the turn in here, and then it's this one right here. Okay, now, this, that was smooth stone. I dug out there to try to figure out where the heck I was. And I vaguely remember when I first dug into this, I was like, abandoned mineshaft? This is like super shallow for an abandoned mineshaft. And I was like, well, that sucks. There's not going to be anything good. And I was like, wait, but I can take all the tracks. And then I came up and I realized I was probably something I put there. 
And what I did here, I don't know if it was just to get ore or coal or stone or to have a room or if I had like some, maybe this was going to be where we like put sheep at one point or cattle, I don't know. But the way it connects is right here. <laughs> and uh, what happened, I was down there working on stuff and my nephew messaged me asking if I wanted to play on mine logics. And I said, yeah, give me a second, I'm kind of in the middle of something. And I was debating down here where we left off, you know, kind of like, okay, do I want to, you know, dig through there and get something going in that fashion? Or, you know, what would we like to do? And then I came up and I was putting stuff away in the chest so I would actually have inventory space to do stuff. And I was still kind of debating what all we might or might not do. And uh, intended to do some of it. And then I thought, you know what? I think that I might just go ahead and blow back behind this, uh, our new water wall, and kind of get a feel for that, because then I could, like, pick if I want to do doors here, if I want to have a corridor that goes off at an angle, uh, you know, and kind of like if I want it all connected somehow, and I was thinking about, like, framing this out, and then as I was digging, I went five back, and then I was going to go five more, and I got to, I guess, number five, and it opened up into that. And I was like, what is this? And I kept digging, and this is where I am now. So, this right here is interesting, because obviously we could make this connect. And then we would have access to under the Hall of Wisdom. And yet if you go this way, you've got that blocked off path. And this, of course, goes to the bedroom, right? So, uh, it's all kind of intertwined. I thought we would have been on, you know, like that side if we did ram into something. Apparently I was mistaken, and here is that sneaky hallway. So, we are in this area now, for some reason. And <laughs> I'm thinking about just kind of rolling with it. Uh, let's see, is this the central point? It is not. So, this would be a corner. And I could then, I guess all of that would be fair game, right? Because what would be there? Nothing, really, unless we're going to come out above the surface somehow. And I have no clue if we would or not. So, if I were to keep digging, we'll come over a little bit and just kind of get a feel for this. I won't take out that entire top section just yet, but let's, uh, that be one, two, three, four, there's five. Alright, I'm just kind of trying to see where we might go. I think that's ten, right? Six, seven. Go one more. Okay, don't see water. Still no water. <laughs> <laughs> so this could turn out to be a pretty decent chunk of real estate here. Uh, and that could become then maybe the bulk of our storage room, maybe. Don't know if we'd take it out that high or not, but uh, let's just come in and do the same thing here. So actually, this should be five, right? Yeah, somewhere in here. So, <clears throat> no clue, really, uh, what we'll wind up doing. What is this? Oh, Lord, we've, we've gone somewhere else that we didn't hit from that side. So, what is that? <laughs> Man, this is getting crazy. Okay, this is the tower and the hallway, All right? Um, <laughs> it's something that's all connected. Okay. What is this? That's the other side of the bedroom. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so, um, in a very, very roundabout way, we went from that door <laughs> through here, back into the lower storage facility through here, down this corridor to that point up here 
this way, up, turn, turn again, and through this door. <laughs> so that's logical, right? I mean, you follow right along, I'm sure, because that's just such a sensical way from going from door A to door B, is it not? <laughs> so, um, I guess technically this hadn't really gone anywhere. Now that can't be messed with. That is redstone. That's where we are. So that's the crop door, I think. Can we get a witness? Yeah, we need to leave that alone. I've already broken into that a few times. <laughs> so, bad area. We'll, uh, I ought to put redstone on that. A redstone torch would be smart. And then this goes underground somewhere. We've got so much here <laughs> that we've done so little with, you know. Uh, this opens up to our drop down from outside. You see there? Mm -hmm. da -da -dun -dun. So that's kind of where we are at now. Uh, that does actually work. I just, you know. So now this is connected <laughs> somehow. And I don't know how I feel about that, but we might need to just, uh, hmm. where would that go if I kept, uh, kept going out? That's a great question now. Uh, well, so somehow this didn't even touch that, and then I just go over one slot and we ri wind up with that, so... Let's go ahead and clear this out, kind of get a feel for things. So, that, okay, so we just, that was the perfect, perfect corridor, if you will. And we'll go ahead and just kind of back this thing on up. And I would imagine we could then do the same thing here. So, is uh, there a reason we can't torch that? That's weird. Why can't you put it there? I want to put it on the cobble, but it does not let us. So we'll just frame it. How about that? So this is quite a little interesting area now. And we still got this whole area going on. So see we can't really dig through there at all at least I don't think we can hmm. I don't exactly know what we're gonna wind up doing to be perfectly honest with you <laughs> so this thing may need to come down a smidge um, because this was that a stair Oh, that's why we couldn't. Okay. You know, from the back side, it looks the same. But, redstone. Front area. Bedroom passageway. And then... Hmm. So, technically, if we go down, like, a couple of blocks, right, we would... sort of be in business... Possibly. So I'm trying to imagine it. <laughs> it's, it's just not going that well. Uh, I think I'm about... This has probably covered the full 20 minutes. And basically what this has been is a... Revisiting the past. Uh, unfinished base projects, hallways, corridors, tunnels, and more. And we've got them all over the place, and we're starting to run into them. And that probably means we just need to keep this room simple and decorative, and maybe just, you know, slim marginal functionality, and then put the effort in down below for the main storage. That kind of answers the questions in and of itself. That said, we can probably do some cool stuff back there as well. And I think we'll start. We will go ahead and get rid of this. And then I'll just come up and... Right there. That ought to look pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this up. We might just do that the entire way back, too. Kind of open up some headspace. 
tons of headspace now in this little segment. But uh, that'll sort of frame that, and I like keeping it intact. And then if we were to throw cobble or something there, then we could kind of, you know, put this back together a little bit. So, it's just, a, it's an awkward thing when you, like, have one thing in mind and then something else totally different happens, <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. But uh, it's it's going to be okay. It'll be all right. We will do something neat with it, I'm sure. Let's run over here and grab some uh, stone bricks. This is a new chest. I think it was done off camera. I honestly, I can't remember at this point in time. Uh, that is not something I banked on. I thought there was a small chance we could run into something, but I, I did not anticipate that. I said bricks, not stairs. Great. So, uh, needless to say, Eventually, this will all be really functional, I hope. <laughs> I can't make any promises, but we're up to 16 levels, if nothing else. We can maybe make some more futile attempts to get Silk Touch, and it'll probably not be on Diamond. But, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw that down. And that ties in nicely, I think. Sort of frames it up. We went around that pillar, and... That's all this started as, you know? So, let's go ahead and, uh, maybe... kind of like that there, because it was grassy, but we'll break it. So, we can't really continue that design feature. I don't know, maybe it's time for another water wall, and then we transition into something different? <laughs> I don't know. But the good news is, once we figure out our layout, we'll have lots of space for storage, and I guess that's the ultimate goal. So, that said, I'm going to end this. I'll probably go play some MindLogic's uh, PC-based Minecraft with my nephew. So, uh, I will be doing that. I hope you are all having a great Friday night, geared up for the weekend nine days from Skylanders Trap Team. Granted, I guess you'll see this uh, later on in the week. But, uh, nonetheless, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. You can follow me on uh, Twitter, follow me on Twitch, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Um, Solo Survival comes out every other day at 10 a.m., and Dual Survival alternates between my channel and the Walkthrough Kings channel at uh, roughly 4 p.m., so be on the lookout for that. Let's actually, maybe a good thumbnail would actually be for me to hear. As always, thanks for watching. See all this connected, broken off, remaining isolated. I think this goes here, and then it did take me to the Hall of Wisdom, and I was like, how in the world did I remember that? So, uh, I don't know, maybe it looked like familiar territory to some of you as well, but uh, like I said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you back here for more Xbox One Solo Survival.